السلام عليكم ورحمة الله ومرحبا بكم مجددا في محاضرة جديدة من سلسلة محاضراتنا عن مراجعة أسئلة اختبارات البرومتريك ريفيو أوف برومتريك تيست كويتشن. This is lecture number 8 in maternity and child health and number 47 in guys review. Today we are going to discuss five questions from question number 252 up to question number 256. معكم محمد إسماعيل هي نبدأ مباشرة. Question number 252. A primary virus mother is calling the clinic to report that her baby often regurgitates a small amount of breast milk. Which of the following is appropriate nursing advice for the mother? The options are number A, elevate the head of the bed. Number B, feed the baby when he is too hungry. Number C, Attend to the clinic with the baby. Number D. Put the baby in prone position after feeding. وقف الفيديو هنا اختار الخيار بتشوف صحيح. The correct option is option number A. Elevate the head of the bed. لي اخترنا الخيار رقم A نشوف rational. Babies have immature digestive tracts and using a supportive measure such as holding upright position and burping after a feed and elevate the head of the bed can help improve and support their digestive system and prevent or reduce regurgitation. It is also one strategy to help minimize gas in infants. So the correct option is option number A, elevate the head of the bed. Question number 253. A 10 months old infant is admitted to the surgical world with hydrocephalus. Which of the following indicate increased intracranial pressure? The options are number A, bulging fontanelle. Number B, decreased blood pressure. Number C, rapid shallow breathing. Number D, increased body temperature. وقف الفيديو هنا واختار الخيار اللي تشوفه صحيح. The correct option is option number A. Bulging fontanel. ليه اخترنا الخيار رقم A؟ نشوف rational. Hydrocephalus is a condition in which an accumulation of cerebrospinal fluid, CSF, occurs within the brain, resulting in increased intracranial pressure, causing the fontanel to bulk and the head to be larger than expected and may result in damage to the baby's developing brain. So the correct option is option number A, bulging fontanel. Question number 254. A multigravida and 37 weeks pregnant mother present to the antenatal clinic. Her condition is stable and her baby position and heart rate are normal. Which of the following discussion is more appropriate with the mother? The options are number A, observer until the 40 weeks complete. Number B, family planning and birth spacing. Number C, arrange for cesarean section. Number D, possible of induced labor. وقف الفيديو هنا واختار الخيار اللي بتشوفه ازاي. The correct option is option number A observer until the 40 weeks complete. اللي اخترنا الخيار رقم A نشوف rational. Keep in mind that the pregnancy is still considered to be in the early term stage at this point. It consider full term until the start of 39 weeks. So the correct option is option number A, observer until the fourth weeks complete. Since the mother and baby condition is stable, there is no need for cesarean section or induced labor. So eliminate option number C and D. Regarding the option number B, family planning and birth spacing is irrelevant. Question number 255. 
a 26 year old patient in the gynecological world complained of pain and swelling in her episiotomy stitches on her second postnatal day. On examination, the localized swelling, redness, full smell, and bossy discharge were identified at the stitches site. After examination, the nurse checked vital sign. Blood pressure is 116 over 82. Heart rate is 132. Respiratory rate 28. Temperature 39.8. Which of the following should the nurse do before the patient examination by the gynecologist? The options are number A, arrange dressing instrument number B, maintain patient privacy. Number C, arrange a stitch removal kit. Number D, collect detailed history. وقف الفيديو هنا واختار الخيار باش يشوفه صحيح. The correct option is option number B, maintain patient privacy. اللي اخترنا الخيار رقم B نشوف راشنا. The wound needs to be assessed by the gynecologist. Therefore, the nurse should maintain the patient privacy without performing any procedure. So the correct option is option number B. Maintain patient privacy. Question number 256. A 28-year-old primary gravida who is pregnant at 16 weeks attended at the emergency department because of dark brown discharge. Investigation showed a decline in the pregnancy test. Which of the following is the most likely type of spontaneous abortion? The options are number A, missed abortion, number B, threatened abortion, number C, incomplete abortion, number D, inevitable abortion. وقف الفيديو هنا واختار الخيار باش تشوفه صحيح. The correct option is option number A, missed abortion. اللي اخترنا الخيار رقم A نشوف rational. A missed abortion, also known as silent miscarriage, occurs when a fetal is no longer alive, but the body does not recognize the pregnancy loss or expel the pregnancy tissue. However, some may note that their pregnancy symptoms like breast tenderness, nausea, or fatigue may disappear. Some women may also have brownish or red vaginal discharge. So the correct option is option number A, missed abortion. Regarding to the option number B, C, and D, threatened incomplete and inevitable abortion are characterized by bleeding, lower back pain, or abdominal cramp. شكرا جزيلا نتقابل في محاضرة جاية don't forget to support us by comment like or subscribe